I have another install for you guys. It's the super cute faux lux. Yes, girl. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Nishé, and in this video, I'll be doing a crochet faux lux install for vacation. So let's get right into it. The hair I'll be using is the Janet Collection Nala Tress Maverick Locks in 24 inches. Each pack has 10 locks and I got 5 packs of 1B30 and 3 packs of 1B27. I start with freshly washed and blow dried hair and I begin parting in the back. I always make the parts in the back bigger to help the process go by quicker and I don't really focus on getting the parts too straight because nobody's seeing them anyways. After each part, I apply the Sulfur 8 Medicated Anti-Dandruff Hair and Scalp Conditioner directly to my scalp. If you've never used this product before, the consistency is like hair grease and I use it to help treat my scalp psoriasis. Next, I apply the Even 24 Hour Edge Tamer the one with the purple cap, to the root of each individual section. Then I take about a pea-sized amount of the Sulfur 8 Lock & Twist Braid Gel and I apply it to the rest of my hair, then comb it all through. I take a section of hair and begin plaiting the base, passing the strands of hair at least 20 times. Then I combine the hair into two strands and rope twist down. This is the same method I used in my mini twist install, just without adding the extension here. So if you haven't, please feel free to check it out. When I get about a quarter of the way from the end, I apply a little bit of the Eden Body Works Coconut Shea Natural Hair Balm to my fingertips and continue twisting in order to seal my ends. So it took me about three rows in the back to reach the top of my ear, then I began parting on the sides. And just to show you the braiding process again, first I apply the Sulfur 8 conditioner to my scalp, then I apply the edge control to my roots to smooth them down. I use a pea-sized amount of the twist gel on the rest of my hair, comb it through, then begin braiding. I pass the strands at least 20 times. Then I combine the rest of my hair into two strands and rope twist down. Here's a close up of how I transition from the braid to a twist. As I get closer to the end, I apply a little of the Eden Body Works hair balm to my fingertips and continue twisting to the end. I also want to note that when I begin the plait, I leave the base of my hair a bit loose so that I have enough space to crochet the hair through it without snagging my hair or causing too much tension when creating the knot to hold the hair in place. I continued parting in a U fashion for the next three rows where I did the left side, right side, then the back, and this is what it looks like. So now I only have the top left to do and that's pretty straightforward. I just parted in half and did the brick layering method. So all together I have 73 individual twists. Put the twists up in a ponytail and start in the back. 
I begin by inserting my crochet hook towards the direction I want the hair to cover. So in the back, I want the knot to hide my hair at the bottom so that if I wear the style in a high bun, you won't see my hair peeking through. I place the hair loop onto the hook, close the latch, and carefully pull it through the base of the plait. I open the latch, push the hook farther through the loop, place the end of the lock onto the hook, close the latch, then I pull it all the way through. As I am pulling it through, I keep my finger in the loop to keep a little space in the knot so that I can pull my twist through as well. Next, I align my twist with the lock. Then I insert the crochet hook into the lock, lining up about halfway down my twist. I carefully push the needle through the middle of the lock to the top on the opposite side of where I want the knot to cover. Then I place my twist onto the hook, close the latch and pull it through. I then go down a little past the end of my twist to do it again. I push the needle through the lock up to where my hair is sticking out. I place my hair onto the hook, close the latch, and pull my hair through the lock. When doing this, I don't really pull the needle downward because you can snag your hair this way. So instead, I push the lock up the needle onto my hair, and then when all the hair is pushed up, I continue pulling the hook through. So this is what the back two rows look like, and you can see when I pull it up, the knots are covering my hair perfectly. I insert the crochet hook towards the outward direction all along the perimeter and along the middle part so that the knots will cover my hair in those areas whether I wear it up or down. My goal with this style, or with any style for that matter, is to make it look as natural as possible. This is also why I decided to go with the individual twists all over my head. I honestly hate seeing cornrows peeking through, especially in the front, and I also didn't want to be confined to certain hairstyles in order to cover them up. I really wanted the freedom of styling my hair any way I wanted while on vacation. Another thing I want to mention is that color placement is also very important when you're doing styles that deal with highlights and lowlights. So I wanted the darker color or the lowlights, which is the 1B30 color, to be at the bottom. And I wanted the highlights, which were the 1B27, to more so frame my face. So in the back two rows, I only used 1B30. And then when I was working on the perimeter, I strategically placed the 1B27 in the areas where I wanted them. So like I said prior, I have 73 locks in my head. So I used 7 packs and 3 locks out of the 8th pack. However, I definitely think I could have gotten away with 5 packs if I made the parting at the top bigger. When I first installed it, I did feel that it was too bulky at the top and I wanted it to be a bit more flatter at the top to give it a more natural look. After a week, it did start to loosen up and fall a bit more naturally. Another thing I also noticed is after a week, the ends did start to get frizzy and a bit tangled due to friction. I also added a few charms that I purchased from my local beauty supply store and I put at least two or three of each of them in my hair. Of course they were gold when I first installed them but I'm guessing all the salt water from my vacation probably made them change faster than normal. Real quick I just want to show you a few simple easy and quick hairstyles that I wear with these locks. For the first style I just take two locks from the nape on the side and tie them in the back. I usually use this hairstyle if I want to quickly move the hair from in front of my face without struggling to put it in a ponytail. It's a really simple and professional pullback style for these locks. 
For the second style, I get one of those extra long, thin elastic headbands and gather their hair into a high ponytail. Then I roll the hair into a bun. This is probably my favorite style because it minimizes friction on the ends by keeping the hair from brushing on my back. And you really get to see the color dimension in the locks with the charm accents, which I really love. And for the last style, I take about five locks all along the front from both sides and bring them together in the back with the scrunchie. I like this style if I want to keep the hair away from the front of my face, but still want to have some of the hair to the front on my shoulders. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All of the links and details for the products I used are in the description box below. Please like this video if you like this style. Feel free to leave a comment, let me know if you do try it, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.